Hi, Maria. I'm at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center for the city's annual Meet the Goats. Yes, there are 300 goats here and lots of residents have showed up to have fun feeding these four-legged critters and learning all there is to know about goats. Right now we're letting people into the fence to feed the goats and uh, it's basically a public family gathering where we all have fun and just you know, have be entertained by the goats. I think it's great. I'm just, I'm so happy to see so many people here. It was a much larger turnout than I expected, but a fun event, kids running around, feeding the goats. This is one of my favorite events. Uh, we actually expanded it from one hour to two hours because it's so popular. And all the families get to come by and just enjoy the hardworking goats. Goats have a very important job. Uh, they have to clear up the vegetation that would otherwise be hazardous in terms of fire. So basically they're weed abaters that are driven by nature. <laughs> it is very, very important. As we all know, um, wildfires are one of the biggest issues in Southern California, probably next to earthquakes. So uh, we use this herd every year to go around and trim all that vegetation out uh, to keep homes and uh, lives safe. It was interesting because when we were first approached uh, about the idea of using goats for weed abatement, there was a lot of skepticism about it, about if it would be effective. We really had to convince the resource agencies that it wouldn't harm the environment, but now I think everybody has seen it work and has completely embraced it. This is one of many events that happens at PVIC. Yeah, we have a lot of great things coming up. The best way to get the information is to go to the city's website, which is www.palosverdes.com slash rpv. What have you enjoyed most about being around all these goats? What have you, what have you thought about all this? It's really fun to watch because some people, you hear them a little bit timid, like, they're going to grab the grass and they're like, we'll just say you're getting it for a kid. But the thing is, both adults and children have a fun day here. So it's really for everybody. And that's kind of like the enjoyment of it for me. I really like meeting the goats. What have you thought of this? I don't know. I just, I like coming here and I like farms. So this is great to see the goats. What did you think of the goats? I think that they were cute because there were babies there. Too. I learned that it takes... Uh, 350 goats to clear one acre of weeds in, in one day. That's exciting. Both male and female goats have beards, and we'll leave it at that. Uh, all mammals can drink goat's milk, and, and people who are lactose intolerant can drink goat's milk. Uh, and interestingly enough, goats were, were man's best friend prior to dogs being man's best friend, so it goes way, way back. So the goats do us a great service, uh, you know, cost-efficient way of, of taking care of uh, fuel modification and weed abatement in very difficult locations in the, the hills and the, the valleys and, you know, big open spaces like here down here at PVIC. Now, before we say goodbye to the goats, I'm here with the mayor's daughter, Anna Dehovic, who's having too much fun feeding. What do you think of all this? Um, there's a lot of goats, so it's sort of overwhelming. So you've got your alfalfa. Should we, uh, should we give them something more to eat because they, they're still hungry? Sure. Okay, you go find a goat to feed, and we're going to say send it back to Maria in the studio. You want to say back to you, Maria? Back to you, Maria. Yeah.